So one of the Fremen visit the, te not the temple, the palace of the Duke. And I didn't understand why they gave the Fremen so much leeway when it came to security. Let's watch. Sire, your leader has a knife. He won't surrender, sire. It's a Chris knife. It's sacred to his people. Let okay. him pass. Stop there. Hey! Hey! So, the knife is sacred to his people. I don't care. You're still, not still bringing it in. It's You're still not bringing it in. Yeah. You, you know what also is sacred? This gun is sacred. This ship is sacred. Every This everything is this poison that I'm going to poison the emperor is sacred. Here you it's go. sacred to my people to put a knife to your chest. Like, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. Uh, yeah. Either you, you want to visit, don't bring the knife. Yeah. That's some terms. Just step back. Just step back. Why and, are you doing this? Like, why are you doing this like power play thing where like, I'm going to stand this close to you, even though you're clearly uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, the Stop. counter power play is you don't get to meet the the, the duke. That's right. Yeah, he's this, so mm -hmm. Stilgar. This guy's name is mm -hmm. Stilgar. That's a huge risk because if you piss mm -hmm. off the the duke and the guards of the duke, and they get yeah. a bad feeling about you, well, now communications are cut off from your people forever. Just done. Yeah. So if I need to do communication with the fremen, I send a diplomat. You never get to talk to the duke. We'll do hash out the stuff that way because you yeah. couldn't play ball. Couldn't play ball. And then he brings. They let him in with the knife. And then the personal guard of the duke says, stop, and he ignores it. He ignores I'm sorry, it. you're pass. not, we're done with this meeting. I'm sorry. So in the in the movie, they say it like Duncan Idaho. He's like, he's the guy that came here a month ago and figured out the culture. Then, But then if that's true, then prep the duke and the new security guard. Like prep, prep Gurney Alec to let him know like, oh yeah, their speaking distance is very close compared to what we do. So like, just expect they're going to be about this distance. It's okay. I'm going to put myself in between you guys so it'll be safe. Yeah. Do that. You could also do physical things. Like I don't want him close to me. So I'll put my desk up there and I'll have a literal like <laughs> moat or barrier that he cannot like, cross. <laughs> Next time Stilgar comes back here, there's like a fire pit. Like, well, this is what yeah, happens. Like, yeah. yeah, you can't cross it. Yeah. You should have you listened wanna, the first time. You want to walk up to me? Well, too bad. Too bad. There's a there's so, a spike strip. There's a there's a spike yeah, trap yeah, between yeah, us. Like yeah, yeah, like a video game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So the Fremen is disrespecting the Duke left and right, disrespecting the Duke's security force left mm -hmm. and right. Mm -hmm. You're gonna pay a price. I don't understand. I don't understand why they let the Fremen do this. I don't understand why the Fremen wanted to do this. Makes no sense. I mean, I guess on, on the other hand, if your leader's meeting for the first time, if you automatically put yourself below the other leader, that's your relationship from now on. Or it, right. it's going to be super hard to climb up. On the other hand, you're playing a knife edge game. You're playing some tightrope walking stuff. Because if you cross mm -hmm. the line too much and then say the say the duke's duke's culture was very like very sensitive to these insults well now you're cut off forever just done right we'll, we'll talk to you you will talk to your people in two generations mm -hmm. sure right you know I, what my argument is if you want to do these this power play politics where you know you don't want to be seen as lesser mm -hmm. if you come out the gate with i want to bring a deadly weapon in like it's either that or i submit you you've You've gone too far. Like you're, you're right. swinging for the right. fences so right. much that you're going to fail that power play. But if you did something a little more subtle, you know, like right. you might be able to win that power play. Well, heck, even here in the earth, <laughs> even here in our human culture, there are different cultures. Like if you come in with a weapon, that that actually devalues your power because they'll because people view mm -hmm. you and they're like, "What are you doing? Like, why are you bringing yeah. in guns or swords right. or whatever into this?" Like. We don't. We're we're civilized. We don't need yeah. like physical weapons to intimidate people that we're talking to. Right. We let the power of our economy and our military is, right. is figuratively standing behind us every right. time I talk. Right. So the fremen goes through this for the fences power play wins the power play. It just makes the duke look so weak. Like you can he's a, he's a pushover. You can do whatever you want. He'll just allow it. Like. It's I mean, terrible. But from the Duke's perspective, he's he we're so powerful. We don't need to worry about your squabbly little power play thing. That's fine, whatever. Like I got I, I'm on a such a different level that you want to do these little in person person jostling stuff. I don't care. Like I got bigger plans here. If that's the case, I wouldn't if I was the Duke, I wouldn't even meet with him in person. I sent diplomat. I already sent a guy to do it. I'll send him. No big deal. I don't need to do it. 
I see what you're saying. Like the power, he's, he's thinking the power imbalance is so huge. I don't need to worry about it. But he does say, and the Duke does say he needs them to run the planet well. So he's like, sh the Duke is showing his hand that he needs them too rapidly. In my That's true. I didn't like the scene. I didn't like it. Felt weird. weird. Yep, I agree. 